Hey, hello, this is Andrea. And Bob. And today is Friday, the 19th of August, 2022. It's Jelly Day. And it's uh, warm here in southeastern Pennsylvania. And Bob made his... Don't show it yet. The, Bob made the pineapple habanero jelly. And let me show you a video of some of it right now. Okay, here is the oh pineapple habanero jelly that Bob made. I helped a little bit. I can see some of the pepper pieces right here, but it's not showing up in the video. Yeah. So this is what six. We'll hold one closer. Okay, and Bob's going to show you a I'll jar show you one up, up close. Mmm. Say how many ounces Look is at all that the jar? <laughs> eight ounces. It's an eight ounce jar. Made six eight ounce jars. Yep. So there's the still recipe cooling. called for eight six ounce jars. So I got eight six eight ounce jars. Cause math. Cause math. Yeah, put it back with the others. Oh, you just want to have your picture. <laughs> Here, put it in the middle. Nice and warm. Let's make a little. Let's it's do still it. Hot. Let's do it like it's a still little. Still a little liquidy. Don't do that. No, hold it up between us so we can make a little picture. There's our, there's our, uh... <laughs> That's our picture. Don't, why would you mess with it? Just leave it. I put it back. You're like, You're like a child. So, what's the point? <laughs> Don't, what are you going to touch some more? Yeah. yeah. Let it cool down. It says cool for 24 hours. <laughs> I want some now. I tasted some. Not, not the canned stuff. I, I tasted what was left in the pan and it's... It's good. It's not quite as spicy as I thought it was going to be, but it's got some good heat. But when you, so it doesn't fill the whole house with peppery smell or anything. Yeah, like I'm afraid it might. When you're in the kitchen, it gets into your throat a little bit. And when I was cutting up the peppers, even though I used, um, I tried to use a glove as much as I could. Um, well, a baggie as a glove. <laughs> the, the fumes of it, of me breathing was... Yeah. Rough. <laughs> Maybe you'll sleep coughing. better tonight. You'll have a nice open sinus. Yeah, sinuses. I have, I have um, pepper scorched lungs. And I had my blood work today for um, my surgery on Wednesday. So they took blood from each side to make sure from they both got arms. enough. Let's see. That's not because they wanted to make sure they got enough. So apparently. Well, I had to get regular blood work, and then they had to do a blood typing because they get blood out of the blood bank for during your surgery. And they have two different people draw the blood at two different two different locations, so they can make sure the typing is right, I guess. Because you know you have you type O positive on your left side and B negative on your right side. It's right. I think B negative is on my left side oh, right now. Could be. <laughs> Isn't that your blood type? I'm B negative. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always I like to always be negative. <laughs> Let me show I'm gonna show the character I got. Go ahead and, and talk talk it. What? Up. Play with my jelly some more? No, don't just leave the jelly. Leave the jelly. Hello. She's getting her little D and D character, I think. Yeah, my my character, oops, my character came in the mail today. Here's what it looks like. And my son's going to paint it for me. So that's a half orc named Meepog. She's female and she has a battle axe in the front and two throwing axes on the back. And she has rope because you always need rope. I'm always... <laughs> I'm always buying rope in the game. And you always use so, rope. So I, you know, so I, <laughs> there was like an episode of what we do in the shadows recently where they're making plans to do something and the one guy says, I think we're going to need this much rope. And the other person's like, what do we need the rope for? And then they come up with another plan. And they're like, so then he comes up with another length of rope that he needs and they're like, <laughs> what is the rope for? Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I ordered this from this place called Hero Forge, and you can, like, design. That's where I had made that 
You got that picture from before. Be careful. You should get your picture so that you can show the picture along with the camera. I showed the picture before. Oh, I can get it out. They're 3D printed. You can tell. But yeah, they're very, they're very high quality 3D printing. It's not that real coarse stuff. It's very well done. So you can, you can order, you can order the, there's like a thing. What do you order? Schematics if you have a 3D printer? It's like seven dollars or five dollars yeah, or something. Yeah, it's a schematic or something like that. You know, whatever it is that you put into your 3D print, 3D printer, or they'll 3D print it for you. And if they have two, three different levels of it. So here's the picture I had. But she's holding a she's holding a, a weird sword in this one that kind of looks like an animal's jaw or something. But the point I was trying to say is that you can go on Hero Forge. This is not sponsored. I just like it. You can go on Hero Forge and you can... I like to have my talking in the... In the you can go on Hero Forge and um, you can create different characters and save them. And then later if you want to have... And you can print them out. That's for free. Yep. And later if you want to have one made, you can have one made and sent to you. And that's... My character is a generic um, half-elf mage. So nothing special. Usually, I might make a special. I might make one of them. He usually plays as a dwarf. He usually plays a dwarf. So, yeah, that's me, Pog. An orc, half orc. So she's like a. I don't know if you've seen. Have you seen the preview for the new movie, the D and D movie that's coming out? Um. What's it called? Honor of Thieves or something like that? I don't recall. Anyway, there's one character in there that turns into difference, or she turns into that thing. It's I think she's, they said it's an owlbear. Well, my character has the kind of thing where she rages and she can turn into a creature. And the creature that I have her turn into is this giant bat that's like... I should draw a picture of it. It's like a big bat that's kind of shaped like an upside-down teardrop. And it can't fly yet, because when you, when you get to different levels, like it, at a certain level it'll be able to swim, and in a certain level it'll be able to fly. But it has wings and a tail. So when so when my character's in the middle of fighting, it turns into this creature, and there's different there's like different attacks you can do. So anyway, <laughs> I just picked a bat because I thought it would be funny. Her background is that she lived in the woods for a long time. And she doesn't like cities. She doesn't like towns. And is it giant that she also speaks? I don't remember. Might be. Because she's been around giants or something. I don't know. Honestly, I'd have to look at my paperwork. So you have to <laughs> you have to make up background stuff, and then you have to have things that are like your weaknesses, or you know, stuff that adds to the story, yeah. like the fact that my fill out your your details of your character. So my character doesn't. My character doesn't trust magic, only the kind of stage magic, and my character doesn't um, like being in cities. So if we're in a city too long, my character gets really antsy. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's more than you ever wanted to know, right? D&D &D 101? <laughs> no, that's not 101. Mm -hmm. That's like, in, that's not even an introduction. No. A brief glimpse into the, we've been gaming since we were kids, right? Well, you in your 20s and me in me my Me in my teens. 20s. Well, I, I played um, other games, like I played Car Wars Car as a teenager. Wars. And some other board games Oh, yeah, we've like played that. other game. We've played other... What is it called? What is this called? Role-playing games. We've done other role-playing games besides D&D. &D. Like, yeah. we did Call of Cthulhu. Which is based did, on the hero system. We really yeah, liked we did the, the hero system. Yeah, we did the hero system. We did one that was a mystery, right? Like, yeah. when you're detectives. Yeah. There's like, there's, like, a system... In the heroes, I think. In the Same hero, hero system, yeah. Where you're different kinds of detectives or whatever. So there's different things you can play. Like our youngest son, he used to play a Star Wars one. Yeah. The Cthulhu one was cool because it had a mechanic where along with you, your health, your physical health, you had a mental health. Yeah, you had and sanity points. You would points. take sanity points and you would go crazy and it was it was kind of interesting. Yeah. A little different. It was different. So, anyway, what should we say about our plans this weekend? I'm taking our youngest son to Ohio. 
Every time I hear Ohio, I think of that song. Four dead in Ohio. Tin soldiers and Nixon's coming. We're finally on our own. Should have been done long ago, right? Isn't that what he's... <laughs> it's not a bad... It's a bad history of it when is. there was some kids protesting Vietnam and... Kent State University. And some... Was it the National Guard? The National Guard, Guard was shot called them? out and they fired live live rounds to quell the crowd and killed four people. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think they had any weapons, right? The, I don't know. Kids? Probably not. I don't remember. I, Bunch of college students. I read that stuff a long time ago. I wasn't alive for it, so I don't know. What year was it? 68? 60? I don't know. I might have been alive for it, maybe. I, I thought we were alive. Nixon was president when I was born, right? Wait a minute, who was president when I was born? I don't know. <laughs> Who was president when you were born? Do you Kennedy know? Kennedy was a lot, was president when I was born, 67, right? Didn't Kennedy die in 69? I don't think so. I think he died in 65. Listen, we don't know I our don't own know. history. Yeah, I'm a horrible The thing about with history. knowing about which president was president when you were born is that you, 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 there's four years that this person's president. You're not even conscious. Yeah, it's not, so it's you're not, not like your four first, years of memory. The first president I remember is Jimmy Carter. Well, I remember, I, I remember Ford Gerald was, Ford. Yeah, Ford was president. I remember Gerald Jimmy Ford. Carter. But I didn't notice anything about anything uh, political until Jimmy Carter was there. Yeah. And then they just were always calling him a peanut farmer. I don't well, know. He was. So. There's a peanut farmer up there. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my son's always saying, like a few years ago when he was looking at political stuff, he was like, the the... The Democrats say this about the Republicans, and the Republicans say this about the Democrats. I said, it's been like this forever. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's nothing this new. This is nothing it new. It does seem to be a little bit more There's, like, political graphic, cartoons not, from, yeah. like, the 30s that say some pretty nasty yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. Oh, there was nasty stuff in the first hundred years, even. So, yeah, anyway, yes. I don't do politics. We don't. We don't we're not political. Well, yeah. what does that mean, being political? No, we don't talk politics. We don't talk here. politics. We barely talk I don't talk, talk religion. I don't we talk do politics. vote. Yeah. I only talk religion to ministers, religious leaders, because I was a religion major, so the stuff that I talk about is stuff that you would only really discuss. <laughs> You'd be like, what do you think of the doctrine of such and such? Well, in the pact of this time and that time, and when this person said, like, it's not anything anybody else would even care yeah. about. It's nonsense. I mean, it's not nonsense. It's history, but now we've gone on. Oh, you're going to Ohio. Oh, you got off tangent. Woo, we got off tangent. <laughs> off on a tangent? You're going to Ohio because. Our youngest son has a job interview. Don't say where. At a place in Ohio. Yes, at a place in Ohio. Ray so, will be here. Yeah, and our middle son will be home. Okay. <laughs> so, and lots of people to keep her safe in case she... Uh, it's not to keep me safe. In case you have to go to the hospital or something like that. You got your, like, big, huge thing. Anyway. And then on Wednesday is the surgery, so... Yep. So what are you doing this weekend? It's going to be a nice weekend, at least here on the East Coast. Well, if you consider us East Coast, we're part of the we're part of the mid, -Atlantic. mid -Atlantic, but We're I at the top us... part of the Mid Atlantic, oh, yeah. and then the next part is um, what is that called? New England. So, yeah. anyway, I guess that's all we got for today. Yep. Hope you're having a good day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.